Hey guys, welcome back to Chariot Palmistry. My name is Sulab Jane, and in this video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to have a look at the hands of the North Korean dictator, Kim Jong un. But we're going to do it from a slightly different perspective. We're going to have a look to study family karma through the hands of this guy. Because everybody's born with some sort of karma. You know, most people think of karma as just action, something you've done in this life that you have to pay the consequences for. But there's lots of different forms of karma. There's karma through action in this life, but also in your past life that comes back to bite you. There's a form of karma which is through thought. So if you ever think about hurting someone or think mentally uh, do the action of hurting someone, then you got to bind your karma with that too. A lot of people don't think of karma as thought-based, but it is. But there's also a third form of karma too, which is your family. This is the karma that you're born into this world that you just cannot shake. So most people say you can't pick your family. You actually kind of do before you're born because your family are the means through which you realize and expel a lot of your karma. So we're going to have a look at the hands today of a guy who's basically got the same job as his father and paternal grandfather to see what's going on here. Now the first thing I want to point out to you guys is this headline and lifeline separates very late in life. One of the most important periods in someone's life is actually when the lifeline and headline separates. For most people, this happens around about the age of like 18 to 21. Sometimes you'll see in the hands of someone whose headline and lifeline separate at a very young age, and that's more or less a sign of childhood trauma. But when things go to the other extreme, where these two lines separate more or less under the middle finger, that's a sign of someone who's had a very delayed development. And in the case of Kim Jong-un, this separation takes place close to the age of 25, which means that he was very sheltered and very protected by his family, and he didn't really have the capacity to think for himself until his mid-20s. And it was actually at around about this age that his father, the then dictator of North Korea, started to get sick, and he started to assume more power in his country at that point. Kim Jong-un actually came to power at the age of 29, so it's a, like a four-year transition period. But what I want you to have a look at also here is that he's got a second lifeline that starts out over here. And that begins at the age of 29, which means he's got two parallel lives running here. There's his life, and then there's his political life, if that kind of makes sense at all. The lifeline that starts at the age of 29, I think, is probably the most important one for us here because it's through this line that we can trace his family karma. Because if his political career or the birth of his self as a politician starts then, we can also map when it will end. And as you can see here, it's a very, very short lifeline. It actually ends close to the age of 56 which means either his mortal life will end at the age of 56 or his political life will end at the age of 56. By the way, he's 41 years old at the moment. So in around about 15 years, his life's going to go one of two ways. So that's his career or how things are going to pan out for him. Let's look a little bit under the bonnet to see what his family karma is. So normally when we look at family karma, I like to focus in especially on the line for the mother and also the line for the maternal grandparents. But in the case of Kim Jong-un, we really want to be having a look at his dad's line, which is here under the index finger, kind of in this shadowy area, but more importantly, also his paternal grandfather's line. Now the line for your paternal grandfather is over here close to the wrist. You'll get this line that cuts all the way across the wrist. That's known as the bracelet in Western palmistry. In astro palmistry, it's also known as a line of ghetto. But just a centimeter or two above that is a line for your paternal grandfather. And if this line is really long, like it is in this guy's hands, then that person's going to play a very prominent role in your life, karmically speaking. But if the line's very thin or almost non-existent, well, that says a lot about that particular ancestor's influence on your family. Now, in the case of this guy, what you'll notice is the paternal grandfather line comes a lot of the way across the wrist, but it doesn't actually merge into the lifeline. 
You see, when somebody's going to carry on a family legacy, we'd like to see their lifeline merging into one of these areas, or at least a branch from the lifeline starting to do that. When that happens, that's a really, really good sign of continuing your family legacy. But this guy's not going to do that, meaning he's probably going to be the last person in his family who's going to be the leader of his country. His legacy or his family's legacy in karma is going to end with him. As I said, that's in approximately 15 years from now. But to give you guys another perspective on this, let me put up the hands of another person who's living a family political legacy. This is the hands of Rahul Gandhi. Now, for those of you who don't know who he is, he's an aspiring politician in India. His father was a former prime minister of India. He was actually assassinated, after which point his mother got into politics and she more or less was a puppet master to a former prime minister of India. This guy's paternal grandmother was a prime minister of India and she was also assassinated. But this guy's father's mother's father was also a prime minister of India. So this guy's actually a fourth generation politician. He wants a top job, but he hasn't been able to win that election in India just yet. Now, what you're going to notice with this guy is his paternal grandfather line goes all the way across and actually merges into his lifeline, meaning he's going to be carrying on that family legacy into politics. You're also going to notice a very, very thick and strong mother line that merges into his lifeline. So he's more or less going to go down the path of his mother and grandparents and so on into politics meaning his family legacy is not going to end with him. He's going to live out his family karma, but then also pass it on to the next generation too. Whether that's good or bad, that's for other people to decide. But coming back to Kim Jong-un's hands, the other thing I want you to notice about this guy's hands is he has a very short thumb. You see, when the thumb barely crosses this line over here, that's a sign of someone who's a brute. You know, in Western palmistry, this is known as the murderer's thumb. And I've actually seen this happen on a couple people's hands. I've read for a couple murderers and rapists. They all have this type of sign. So I think Kim Jong-un's the sort of guy who would, is basically a sadist. He enjoys hurting people. And I think that's going to be his undoing and also the undoing of his family's legacy. And when you get caught up into doing stuff like this, that karma is going to eventually catch up with you. So it's the family karma that he's born into, but then there's also the karma that he produces through his actions in this life. And as I said, that's about 15 years away before the proverbial hits the fan for him. That's a, that's a thought I want to leave you guys on here. You can inherit family karma, but if you do some terrible things with it, then that karma is going to come back and bite you. It's a double-edged sword. Now, if you guys do want to learn about the line for your paternal grandfather, click on this link over here. If you want to see a video on the line for your father, click on this video over here. Thanks a lot, guys.